Gentlemen, this is Hidden Flame. Um, this is pretty much a Im completely impromptu video. Um, I, because of Windows 10, I have been fighting with it and <laughs> learning certain things. So it is currently 11.41 p.m. on Thursday night. I don't have a video prepped for my Friday show, so I just dragged along Sam. Y'all know. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, and I'm going to send him through the yog. The yog. Um, <laughs> you guys might remember this was one of the first videos I did with DJ Winston. Um, who knows? I actually might grab four people, me plus three others, to run this um, game because it is a party game. It is meant for two to four players. The goal is to get, build up your skills in order to survive whatever the Yaug is. I will not give any spoilers. I have been played this game a dozen times. I have never won successfully. I have come out with a bunch of meh and deadlies. So each game changes depending on everyone's specific uh, events. So come on, is that not napkins? Huh? I found napkins. <laughs> you found napkins. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, my... Nothing's working here. <laughs> no, it's it's the game. It's... I don't know why it's not working here. I told you, it's Windows 10. We fixed everything. <laughs> no, it's not Windows 10. It's something with the recording program. It doesn't like this for some reason. It doesn't like the AUG? Apparently not. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll have to cut that little piece out. Um, so, we can do... Okay. Pick your character. What? Is what the name? hell? What did I do? Um... Why do you have control prompt to? Hang on, I don't know what the... Ah, here we go. Okay. So... You, um, you're only going to play one character. So pick your character. You got the blue girl. You got the suave aristocrat. You have the uh, the big girl. And the dwarf. I'm going to be the dwarf. You be the dwarf. Sorry, we're not gonna be the independent black woman who does who don't need no man. <laughs> the Yog will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not one of us. We just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. Okay, you actually get to choose where you want to go. You got the forest, the arena, the alchemy tower, the gardens, the palace, the tavern, the hospital, or the slums. Now keep in mind that if uh, each, like I said before, each area changes depending on what you do. Your stats will increase, uh, there's going to be events where you need certain stats to improve, things could go good, things can go bad. I'm going to go to the slums. Go to the slums? Would you like to pick a pocket or fight crime? I cry because I'm a uh, I don't know. Okay, you will be doing your own voiceover. All you have to do is read it. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one fitness. One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, sir. I'm feeling a little lonely tonight, he asked. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. You don't have money. No thanks. You're a loss. <laughs> okay, I will go to the forest. I don't I don't roll that red, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a guy too. I know, that's why I said I don't roll that way. I'm gonna go hunting. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters. 
you gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one gold, one wealth. One night, through the trees, you spot a group of cloaked figures standing in a circle. They are chanting in unison. Oh, mighty lord of the night, master of beasts, bringer of pain and derision. You accidentally step on a twig, producing a large crackling noise. Good job. They immediately stop chanting and look over in your direction. Later. <laughs> you weave through the floors with the, with the grace of a gazelle in this you don't have the grace of gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what a workout. You'd be tripping and falling. Yay! Get one physique. They say the last time it came, the young devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But they, that was so very long ago. Okay, where to? Uh, I'm gonna go to... Uh, to the arena! In the arena. Where is that? There we are. Peter, you really can't bet, but you can compete. I might compete. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One day, between matches, you stumble upon one of the higher rank fighters ingesting illegal strength potions. Please, sir, don't report me, she cries. I, I, I'll even share some of my potions with you if you keep quiet, she adds. Hmm. It'd be the right thing to report her, but it would uh, resist evil temptations report. You report the fighter to arena officials. They thank you for bringing it to their attention and hand you a small sack of coin. You gain two wealth. The fighter is investigated and receives a lifetime ban from the arena. Yay! You are honorable. Yes, I play all my games as the good guy. <laughs> That's why I say resist evil temptation. I will chop some wood uh, while I'm in the forest. Going back to the forest. You spend the week cutting down trees in the for the village. You gain two physique and earn yourself one health. One day you stumble across a gigantic moss-covered stump. It pulses with magical energy. You do. <laughs> I really don't have magic, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. You walk away from the stump. <laughs> you didn't want to get a reputation for touching <laughs> rocks after all. What would the other people think? You gained one charm. Woohoo! It was all less than a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went. Where to? Uh, let's go to the palace. Admin worker, attend the ball. Admin work. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You pay, you're paid two wealth and gain one mind. One day, you overhear the jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but you didn't understand the joke at all. <laughs> Ask for an explanation or try to figure the joke out on your own. Ah, uh, but asking for an explanation ruins the joke. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out the joke by myself. Several hours later, you figure it out in a small chuckle it's had. All that thinking gave your mind to work out. You gain one mind, sweet. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, just so everybody knows, asking the explanation to the joke ruins the joke. I'm gonna go to the gardens. I'm gonna do some landscaping. Oh, look at that majestic bird. You spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and one wealth. One day you come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. <laughs> you there, young person. He waves you over. I am having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. <laughs> Do you mind giving me some shade? Pardon? <laughs> block the sun for the old man or decline? I'll block for him. That's the right thing to do. 
Why is he sleeping on the grass? I don't know. Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun, the wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours, you feel a bit, you feel faint. Gradually, everything grows dark. <laughs> when you awaken, it is evening in the garden, and an ancient, gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. For witnessing this miraculous event, you gain one magic. Okay. <laughs> and then the world was a howling fury, chaos, screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Even our bodies. <laughs> well, you got eight physique, seven finesse, eight a mind, five charm, five magic, and four wealth. I'm gonna go to the tavern. Bartender drink. Uh, Barton. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charm. One day, a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. She offers to read anybody's fortune, uh, fortune for a small sum. Uh, nah. You got five wealth, so why not? I don't know, I, uh, nah. Okay. The rest of the day, you watch as the fortune teller from afar. She shovers each of her customers with promises of wealth and love. You feel like skipping out with a good choice. Reading <laughs> one mind. Okay. I will go to the store. And I'll fight crime. Look at that dashing man. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. Get one mind, one physique, and one finesse. Uh oh. <laughs> one night, you hear a woman whisper to you from nearby. Hey, you, she calls out, looking to make a bit of coin. <laughs> She's kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Despite your intention to say no, you find yourself giving into her will completely. Why is she fucking sucky, this? She signals for you to go into the alley with her. Come closer, she says. No one else can hear what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> you lean in close and eager to learn how you will be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against oh. you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously. Blood <laughs> pours through the wound and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. Blackout. When you come to, you see her standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple coins. You gain a wealth. Then she melts into the shadows. You feel your neck and notice it's complete. The wound is completely healed. Your body feels ice cold. You You're gain vampire. three turns. You lose three physique. You're a vampire. <laughs> I guess. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we want more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Week five. I'm gonna go to the hospital. Clean up or tend to patients? Tend to patients. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to his sick. You gain two mind and earn one life. One day, a patient comes into the hospital with sores that nobody has ever seen before. Those look pretty nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While walking by his bedside, you, he looks to you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Give him the water. Bring him a small glass to quench his thirst. He takes a large sip, <laughs> oh, swigs it about, and then proceeds to spit it at you. The water hits you right in the face. After cleaning up, you scold the obviously insane man for spitting at you. That night, when you get home, you feel dizzy and start having a hallucination about ancient wizards. You get three matches. <laughs> you lose three You're mind. going insane! <laughs> I will go to the arena this time. And I will compete. Olay! 
You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and a finesse. Over the course of the week, you notice your skin has become paler and your teeth become sharper. <laughs> you notice that whenever you talk, everyone nearby hangs on your every word. You gain three charm. You also feel more frail and gaunt than you used to. You're gonna have to drink some ice blood. <laughs> <laughs> One day, you notice a woman tilting her head back, brushing her oh. hair. Her neck fully exposed. You can see a vein or two. Delicious. <laughs> Before you know it, you're coated in blood with a mangled form in front of you. There are dozens of people around you. They're all filled uh -oh. with the delicious nectar. <laughs> the next few hours are a blur. You wake up the next day in the bed sheet soaked with blood that is not your own. You look in the mirror and notice your skin has regained its color and your teeth have dulled. The yog is almost here. You mean almost. Yeah. Almost. By the way, the arena's gone. Because <laughs> he broke it. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to the forest. Uh, let's chop some wood. It's been the week, cutting down trees for the village. Yeah, you busy can earn yourself one month. Over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more you know, shapes or oh boy, all over your body. One day the sword glowing <laughs> a vibrant blue. You can your magical powers grow even stronger while your mind slips further and further. You lose three matches. You lose three mind. In no time the swords are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Oh, <laughs> the hunting party spots you. One runs up to you, see if you're alright. The only guy in two said it. <laughs> oh, shit. Keep going. I hit my uh, buns on my smart TV. Uh, then you look at out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters all the skulls nearby. A river of blood coats to the ground as you walk about, profiling in your destruction. You blow out. Why is this happening? <laughs> you come to your home in bed. Your swords have fitting, you feel like disease systems have passed. And they say you find the exit the exit to the town is closed. Something out there being a perfect exit. <laughs> you don't inquire. Okay. So I broke the forest and you broke the arena. <laughs> You're not having a good time with this. Um, I'll go to the palace. And I looked in the box. Oh god, you're gonna eat everybody. <laughs> you spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day you accidentally bump into a duke. Get up. Watch where you're going, filthy peasant. He shoves you out of the way with his hand and continues walking. That outfit looks really comfortable. He looks mildly insulted. <laughs> Sick burn. Sick burn. Woohoo! One charm. The storm arrives in the night, and by the morning it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. Drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. Then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it, are we past saving? Okay, this is where your skills come in handy. Um. So, the leader, the builder, the conjurer, the doctor, the smelter, the tailor, the looter, the town drunk. I have quite a bit of magic, so I'll be a conjurer. Go ahead. 
You take it upon yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town. With your magic, you summon a large amount of supplies. With some effort, you're summoning more than enough lumber and food for the town. This helps the, rebu the rebuilding effort a lot. Woohoo! What are you gonna do? Eat every. <laughs> well, I have a high charm, so I might go with the leader. Yeah, I'll go with the leader. You take it upon yourself to become the leader of the survivors. You are so incredibly charming, everyone readily lets you guide them. You're not the brightest, <laughs> however, and you aren't terribly efficient with organizing everyone. <laughs> Still, your charismatic leader helps with the rebuilding effort a lot. <laughs> and so we set about our task. Once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Through our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeeded or failed, we did our best. Who knows if the Yelg will visit again? knows if we will ever be, can ever be, ready for it. Let us see what our actions have cost us, shall we? Your life after the Yogg is uneventful. You work, you get married, you adopt a child, you take care of that child, you get old, you retire, you go on a vacation for a few years. You get too old to be independent, so your child takes care of you. You die. <laughs> the town, I mean, while the town is being rebuilt, you decide to move out into the woods. While becoming a friendly local lumberjack and fashion yourself a log cabin, you spend most of your die days chopping down giant trees and carrying the logs into town game. You make friends with the dryads of the forest and spend every weekend at their wild river parties. All in all, you led a good life. That is it, everybody. Um, it's better with four people. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to deny that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we, if, if you want to see more, I can probably drag Winza. I can probably drag Sci-Spy. And probably drag Sam back into this and we can all have a nice, good time. Uh, what do you think? Um, I would an uneventful life. <laughs> I can't hear it. Be glad. It's over drowning you from what I hear. I might have to tweak the sound. Or I might have we might have to do overlays. So if this video is late, I apologize. Um so yeah. That's gonna be it for now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna see more, let me know. Like, subscribe, share, all that fun shit. Um if you wanna actually see me size by and when so with Sam here. Uh, hop on and do a four person of this, let us know. Uh, go to Sam's channel. He has a lot of cool, uh, AAA stuff. I'm over there on his Resident Evil channel, or side, so you can find me there. He was on one of my Monday Madness shows, if you want to go take a look at that. Um, but until next time, guys, this is Hidden Flame. Sam K. And we will see you guys later. Stay toasty, guys. Bye-bye.